what is good guys we are in for an unboxing today and this is going to be the unboxing of the var millo bcs 87 cliff bot awake mechanical keyboard and this one features the cherry mx blue switches so that's the clicky switches and i was able to cop this for 154 dollars 76 free shipping and with taxes it ended up being about 166 dollars 10 but look at this packaging though so we have this nice manual you know i'm a fiend for orange as you could see you know from the desk setup and everything but whoever wants that code go ahead and snag it um but man look at this packaging though yeah they definitely know how to give it to you like this definitely feels like some quality here definitely not gonna read all that so let's move on I mean just look at this bot awake so rather than calling it the VCS 87 cliff bot awake mechanical keyboard we're just gonna call this the bot awake so this bot awake really a quality keyboard so the alphas have white die sub PBT with black legends the modifiers have orange die sub PBT with black legends and then the other key caps are gray die sub BBT with black legends so it has three main colors as the keycaps and they're great quality like this this pbt on here i mean it is great quality also comes with uh some of their branding in the box we're definitely not going to read that but you know give you guys a little look at it all right nice box toss now Let's look at this keyboard. Look at this nice little sneak peek through the, the wrapping. Let's get this thing unwrapped, man. Yeah, take off that plastic casing. Get a, get a nice little sneak peek for real. See what we're dealing with. Those are the keycaps I was talking about. And then, let's take out the wrap. Yes, there we go. Pull that thing out like a katana unsheathing look at that yeah I like that I love that you can't go wrong with that color combination I mean you guys see the Crocs my Crocs match the keyboard like but anyways we're talking about the keyboard here right now like, look at this now keyboard above is the Keychron K2 and I added my own keycaps to those um, some see-through uh, some shine through keycaps this one does not have a light up feature which I don't mind I mean it's still really great quality and it came with this uh, keycap remover so if you want to take the keycaps out you know you just pop those off but we're not going to do that so it also came with the charging and connecting port, so it has a USB-A as well as a USB-C. Comes with like a nice little Velcro wrap that you can pretty much wrap it around. You know, secure the cable. Varmilo Cliff. I hope I'm saying it right. Varmilo, Varmilo. Did I had an accent to it? I don't know. But it also comes with the option to elevate the keyboard, so you can lay it flat. There's these high, the highest setting, and there's the second setting, which is like an in-between. But it also allows you to have this USB connection, it's a USB-A, and then you can also add AAA batteries. Yeah, there's the USB-C, USB-A, and that port right there can slide right into this slot right here. And fortunately, the way this keyboard is set up, it really allows you to, you know, I guess, channel that cord 
to where it can be hidden, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space on the, on the desk, but I like the function. I like what they did there. They definitely thought about the functionality. Now let's get into these clicks. Let's see what the difference is. I'm loving how this sounds. I'll shut up so everyone can enjoy all these, these clicks. Now mind you, this is the blue. Cherry MX blue switches. In comparison, the Keychron K2 above is the Cherry MX brown switches. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and you know, pretty much getting a nice little overview of this keyboard. I mean, look at the weight on this thing. Well, you guys can't really see the weight, but boy, listen to that thud. Yeah, in comparison, this Keychron K2 is definitely a lot lighter, a little bit more compact. It's definitely a compact keyboard, but I love them both. I mean, two different shades of orange. One is like a tangerine and the other one's like a mandarin. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Jim Libro out. Hey guys. If you watch this entire video, I cannot thank you enough. You just watched my first Jim Liberal video. Like, this has honestly been a dream of mine, and I'm finally in the position to where I can record and, like, have this amazing setup that I'm still building out. Like, I have a video dropping of me turning pretty much this office that, in this new house that I just bought, turning this office into pretty much my dream office studio setup. So as you can see, I mean, I already have some kind of new stuff. I mean, it's all of this. If you're watching this, you're pretty much getting like a sneak peek into, you know, before the climax, before the level up, before, like this is, right right now, this is the rising action. So you're in for it. Like, I haven't put the drawers in this desk, but as soon as I got this thing partially set up, I was like, man, I have to record a video. Especially since I just got this new keyboard back here that we just reviewed. Um, I got to try out this new lab mic because, to be honest, the Blue Yeti that I was using, this was just, it was not doing the job. It was not doing the job. I mean, it was not doing the job. Um, but once again, guys, I cannot thank you enough. And if you can, if you keep, if you're still watching, I have to say, you know, please like, please subscribe. I should have said that earlier in the video, but man, I'm just excited to be doing this. So for the last time, Jim LeBron out. Don't mind my hair too, please. The waves are coming. Give me a second. I have to turn into Drip Jim. I just really, I'm still in the moving phase. I bought this house on Friday. I'm still moving in. So give me a second. For now, this is what we're rocking with. So. All right, guys. So I'm gonna turn my office, featuring baby girl. And so, we're gonna turn this into something amazing. Let's see what we can do.